Welcome to the dark side of the universe. Out here, far beyond the familiar comforts of our own solar system, lurk celestial objects that defy our wildest imaginations. Today, we're going to journey into this cosmic abyss to uncover the most horrifying, terrifying planets known to mankind. These aren't the idyllic, life-sustaining havens we often dream of finding. These are worlds of extreme temperatures, crushing pressures, and unimaginable phenomena. Brace yourself for a journey into the unknown, where the very laws of physics are pushed to their breaking point. Take, for instance, rogue planets, worlds that drift through space without orbiting any star. These planets are shrouded in perpetual darkness, their surfaces frozen solid, or consider gas giants like Jupiter, but far more extreme. These planets have storms that rage for centuries, with winds reaching thousands of miles per hour. Some planets are covered in oceans of lava, with volcanic activity so intense that it reshapes the landscape continuously. Others have atmospheres filled with toxic gases, where it rains sulfuric acid, making them utterly inhospitable. And then there are planets with gravitational forces so strong that they bend light, creating eerie visual distortions. As we venture deeper into this cosmic darkness, we'll encounter phenomena that challenge our understanding of the universe. From the event horizons of black holes to the mysterious dark matter that makes up most of the universe, the dark side holds secrets that are both fascinating and terrifying. So prepare yourself for an expedition into the unknown, where every discovery pushes the boundaries of science and imagination. Our first stop takes us to HD 1189733b, a gas giant located some 63 light years away in the constellation Volpecula. Now, at first glance, this planet might appear inviting it boasts a beautiful azure blue color, reminiscent of our own Earth. But don't be fooled. This isn't the inviting hue of a life-sustaining atmosphere. This blue comes from a turbulent, chaotic atmosphere choked with silicate particles, essentially tiny shards of glass. And if you think that's bad, just wait until you hear about the weather. Imagine winds whipping around the planet at seven times the speed of sound. That's over 5,000 miles per hour, folks. Now imagine those winds carrying with them a relentless, horizontal downpour of superheated glass shards. This isn't just a light drizzle, mind you. We're talking about a torrential, sideways deluge of molten glass. The sheer violence of this weather system is almost impossible to comprehend. The howling winds, the constant bombardment of glass, the searing heat, it's a nightmare scenario that makes even the most extreme weather on Earth seem like a walk in the park. And let's not forget, this isn't some theoretical phenomenon. This is happening, right now, on a planet orbiting another star in our galaxy. The glass rain is composed of silicate particles, which are essentially tiny fragments of glass. These particles are formed in the planet's upper atmosphere where temperatures soar to over 1,700 degrees Celsius. The extreme heat causes the silicate particles to vaporize, and as they cool, they condense into glass. When these glass shards rain down, they impact the planet's surface with incredible force, creating a landscape that's constantly being reshaped by the relentless bombardment. The surface of HD 1189733b is likely covered in a layer of shattered glass, eroded by the continuous onslaught of glass rain. This hostile environment makes it one of the most uninhabitable places in the universe, a true testament to the extreme conditions that can exist on distant worlds. Our next destination takes us even further down the rabbit hole of cosmic horror. Fasten your seatbelts, folks, because we're about to visit Kepler-70b, a planet so hot it would make Venus blush. Located about 3,850 light-years away, 
In the constellation Cygnus, Kepler-70b is what we call an ultra-hot Jupiter. And believe me, the name is no exaggeration. This scorching hellscape orbits its star at an astonishingly close distance, completing an orbit in a mere six hours. To put that in perspective, Earth takes 365 days to orbit the Sun. This proximity to its star means that Kepler-70b is subjected to an unimaginable level of heat and radiation. We're talking about surface temperatures exceeding 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is even hotter than the surface of our Sun. The planet's surface is a seething cauldron of volcanic activity with rivers of molten lava flowing across its landscape. The atmosphere is a toxic mix of gases, including vaporized metals and silicates, creating a suffocating and deadly environment. But Kepler-70b serves as a stark reminder of the extreme environments that exist in our universe. It's a planet where the very atoms are ripped apart and reassembled in a chaotic dance of unimaginable energy. Now, you might be thinking, well, at least we don't have to worry about that kind of heat here on Earth. And you'd be right. Chapter 3. Tree S2b. The Planet of Eternal Darkness. From the searing heat of Kepler-70b, we now journey to the opposite end of the spectrum, to a world shrouded in perpetual darkness. This is Tree S2b, the darkest planet ever discovered, and it's a place that would make even the bravest soul think twice about venturing too close. Located some 750 light years away in the constellation Draco, Tree S2b is a gas giant that's about the size of Jupiter. But unlike Jupiter, which reflects a significant amount of sunlight, Tree S2b absorbs almost all light that falls upon it. We're talking about a reflectivity rate of less than 1% making it blacker than coal, blacker than asphalt, even blacker than the blackest acrylic paint. To put that in perspective, our moon, which we often think of as being quite dark, reflects about 12% of the sunlight that hits it. So what could possibly account for this eerie darkness? Well, scientists believe that Tree S2b's atmosphere is composed of light-absorbing chemicals like vaporized sodium and potassium, or gaseous titanium oxide. But even these explanations can't fully account for the planet's extreme light-absorbing properties. It's a mystery that continues to baffle astronomers to this day. Imagine a world perpetually cloaked in shadow where even the faintest glimmer of starlight is swallowed by an abyss of inky blackness. It's a chilling thought, and it's a stark reminder of the many mysteries that still lie hidden in the vast expanse of space. On Trieste 2b, the lack of sunlight means that the planet is in a state of eternal night. No sunrises, no sunsets, just an unending darkness. If life were to exist on such a planet, it would have to adapt to the complete absence of light. Imagine creatures with heightened senses of touch and hearing, navigating their world through echolocation or other means. Exploring Trari S2b would be an immense challenge. The darkness would make it nearly impossible to see, and the planet's extreme conditions would test the limits of any technology we send there. Advanced space probes would need to be equipped with powerful sensors and robust systems to withstand the harsh environment. And even then, the data they send back might only scratch the surface of this enigmatic world. As we continue to explore the cosmos, Trari S2b stands as a testament to the unknown, a dark beacon that challenges our understanding of the universe. The planet of eternal darkness is a reminder that in the grand tapestry of space, there are still many secrets waiting to be uncovered. Chapter 4. Gliese 581c. The Habitable Nightmare. Our search for the most terrifying planets in the universe now takes us to a world that hits a little closer to home. This is Gliese 581c, a planet located just 20 light-years away in the constellation Libra. 
Now, what makes Glisa 581C so terrifying isn't necessarily its environment, but rather its potential. You see, Gliese 581c is what astronomers call a super-Earth, a planet that's larger and more massive than Earth, but smaller than a gas giant. And what's really intriguing about this particular super-Earth is that it orbits within what's known as its star's habitable zone, the region around a star where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. Now, on Earth, we know that where there's liquid water, there's often life. So, could Gliese 581c be home to extraterrestrial life? Well, possibly. But if it is, it's likely to be life as we've never seen it before. You see, Gliese 581c is tidally locked to its star, meaning that one side of the planet always faces the star, while the other side is perpetually shrouded in darkness. This creates some pretty extreme conditions. The star-facing side is likely a scorching desert, while the dark side is probably a frozen wasteland. The only potentially habitable zone would be a narrow strip along the Terminator, the line between day and night. And even then, life on this planet would have to contend with intense radiation and a gravitational pull significantly stronger than Earth's. So, while Gliese 581c might hold the potential for life, it's certainly not a place I'd be lining up to visit anytime soon. Despite its challenges, Gliese 581c has some seemingly Earth-like conditions. Imagine lush landscapes and flowing rivers, a paradise at first glance. But beneath this facade lies a world of hidden dangers, treacherous terrain, unpredictable weather patterns, and volatile geological activity. The potential for human colonization is a tantalizing thought. Could we one day call Gliese 581C home? Futuristic colonies, advanced technology, and a new frontier for humanity. But the challenges are immense. Surviving the extreme conditions, adapting to the stronger gravity, and shielding ourselves from intense radiation. Yet, the hope for the future drives us. The dream of exploring and colonizing new worlds pushes the boundaries of what we believe is possible. Gliese 581c remains a beacon in the night sky, a reminder of the vast and mysterious universe that awaits our discovery. Chapter 6, WASP-12b, A Planet on the Brink. Our final destination takes us to a planet that's facing the ultimate cosmic horror. Imminent destruction. This is WASP-12b, a gas giant located about 1,400 light years away in the constellation Auriga. Now, WASP-12b is what we call a hot Jupiter, a gas giant that orbits extremely close to its star. But this planet takes things to a whole new level of extreme. You see, WASP-12b is so close to its star that it's literally being ripped apart. The star's immense gravitational pull is stretching the planet into an egg shape, and its atmosphere is being siphoned off into a giant swirling disk of superheated gas. This process known as tidal disruption, is happening at an alarming rate. In fact, astronomers estimate that WASP-12b is losing about 189 quadrillion tons of its atmosphere every year. At this rate, the planet is expected to be completely devoured by its star in about 10 million years. Now, 10 million years might seem like a long time, but in cosmic terms, it's a mere blink of an eye. Imagine a world where the very ground beneath your feet is being slowly pulled apart, where the air you breathe is being sucked away into the fiery maw of a nearby star. It's a terrifying thought, 
and it's a stark reminder of the immense power of the forces at play in our universe. The environment on WASP-12b is incredibly unstable. The planet's atmosphere is a chaotic mix of swirling gas clouds and extreme weather conditions. Surface temperatures can soar to over 2,000 degrees Celsius, making it one of the hottest exoplanets ever discovered. Signs of impending disaster are everywhere. Cracks are forming on the planet's surface, and its structural integrity is rapidly deteriorating. Is there any hope for saving WASP-12b? Some scientists speculate that advanced technology or future space missions could potentially stabilize the planet. However, the odds are slim and the planet may ultimately be lost to the relentless pull of its star. The fate of WASP-12b serves as a powerful reminder of the cosmic forces at play and the delicate balance that governs the universe. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we must remain ever aware of the fragile nature of planets and the incredible power of the stars they orbit. As we conclude our journey through the cosmic abyss, we're left with a profound sense of awe and yes, a touch of terror. These planets, these celestial nightmares, remind us of the vast and terrifying mysteries that lie beyond our world. They challenge our perceptions of what's possible and force us to confront the sheer scale and power of the universe we inhabit. But they also serve as a powerful reminder of the preciousness of our own planet. Earth, with its temperate climate, its life-sustaining atmosphere, and its abundance of liquid water is a true oasis in the cosmic desert. Let us cherish and protect this pale blue dot, for it's the only home we know. Stay curious and keep exploring the universe with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more cosmic discoveries. The future of space exploration holds endless possibilities. With advancements in technology, we may soon discover new planets that could potentially harbor life. Our quest to understand the universe is far from over. There are countless mysteries that still remain. From the enigmatic nature of black holes to the elusive dark matter. As we push the boundaries of our knowledge, we pave the way for future generations of explorers. Imagine a future where humanity has established colonies on Mars or even beyond our solar system. The universe is vast, and its wonders are infinite. Let us continue to explore, discover, and protect our precious home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more cosmic discoveries.